everyone, this is Coach Jane of Drafting Lifestyle and welcome to our first video for year 20 and 24. This is our first topic for this year which is the continuation after the roof framing plan. Then we are going to discuss what is structural beam plan. So this is sec second to the last part of structural plan that I'm going to dis discuss to you with our AutoCAD works. So, what is really a structural beam plan? O ano nga ba ang beam plan? This illustration it shows under structural page that gives detailed information on beams or girders in a structure that may be residential or a building unit. The main purpose of the beam is to resist the load applied lat laterally to beam axis. Hence, in the simple Slayman's term, this is primarily the vertical gravitational force and they are also used to carry the horizontal load such as due to earthquake, intensive wind flow, or the weight of the trusses of the roofing. So, napaka-importante ng isang beam plan sa isang structural detail or structural plan. So, always remember, when you talk about structural plans such as foundation plan, or premium plan, beam plan, or secondary floor plan, whatever it is, always consult an engineer first because they have the very widely and extensive information and expertise that could you, he could share or she could share to you sa mga sudyante naman um, kailangan nyo talaga ang idea ng inyong teacher on how you're going to design yung beam bed nyo now there are so many different kinds of beam designs na meron tayo number one is what they call simple, simple support beam second we have the fixed beam Overhang beam, double overhang beam, continuous beam, cantilever beam, um, thrust beam, beam on spring support, and lastly, we have the beam on elastic foundation. Now, if meron pang mga beams na kasali dito na hindi na mentioned, please, you could comment on the section. Now, this video um, focus, or this vlog really focuses on how you are going to make your beam plan sa AutoCAD works but again in a most simplest way okay so if you're ready let's start but before we proceed I'd love to show you this one okay this is an example of a beam plan so this is made of a simple um, design for beams na ginagamit sa isang residential so without much ado simulan na natin ang ating tutorial so here we are again with our AutoCAD work. So if wala pa kayong design sa inyong beam, sa inyong pag, sa, sa pag design ng beam, you need this general layout of your floor plan. So if you still remember, we have the porch, living, dining, and kitchen, toilet and bathroom, and the bedroom. So remember, this is just a one bedroom design. So this one, ang pinaka importante. Now, also, this time, I'm going to use yung foundation plan kasi kailangan ko ang bawat posisyon ng aking mga poste or yung column natin. So that is the one reason why I'm, I did place the foundation plan alongside with it. So kung wala pa, you may use this one pero kung may foundation plan na kayo, you may use this drawing. Okay? So the first thing I'm going to do is to erase first yung mga hindi importante dito. So just like this one. Mga dimensions, tatanggalin ko muna siya sa ating drawing. So, all of the things that are not important with our work, tatanggalin natin. So, I'm going to uh, move forward for this one. Or, I'll fast track ko na lang muna to so that mas mapadali ang ating tutorial. Baby, you Okay, so as you can see, ang iniwan ko lang talaga dito is yung grid lines and of course ang mga 
positions ng bawat column. I also remove yung footing lines wherein hindi naman natin siya kailangan. So, what is the purpose why I did leave the columns? Because ang bin natin ay dadaan a long way sa ating column. So, if you still remember, our column has a size of 0.20 by 0.20. So, common residential house that in our simple design, so simple one flooring, it has ranges from 0.20 to 0.25 ang ating mga column. So in our most basic, this is since this is one floor, I'm going to use a what we call um, size of beam of 0.20. So I'm going to type here ML, enter, S, I'm going to change the scale into 0.2, enter. Now make sure you have to press J for justification to check if it's already on zero. So once sinabi na ng AutoCAD is start specify first point, I'm going to change my layer right away with our wall um, layer. So we'll start here from the center, punta dito, to the center also. Or you could also check your, or press yung F8 or to on para sure ang ating trabaho. Okay, so here, click, and then press close para ma-enclose ang ating drawing. So continuing here, ML, Click from this point to the center, and then this one through here. Okay, so we already placed the positions ng bawat beam. So this serves as our wall natin sa bedrooms and um, sa porch. Okay, so there's for our simple design, we don't need to apply beams here. But if you want to add also beam along this way, you may also do so. Okay. So, if you insist that you would like to put beams here, sabi ng engineer, lagi natin ng beam, you may also add beams along this position. Okay? So, ito naman, if sabi ng engineer, masyadong delikado ang lugar, so you could add also beam here. Okay? So, pero kung hindi na, say for example, this one, hindi na kailangan, so let's erase this one. Kasi napakaliit lang naman ng spaces, spaces dito sa ating toilet bathroom. So, the only thing that add here is this two area. Okay, so, ang gagawin naman natin ngayon is simply, no, to, if you want to trim this area here, para malinis tignan, you may also do the same. Okay, pero, kung hindi na kailangan, as ay yung representation ninyo, so, definitely, there's no need for you to trim such area. Okay, so, click lang natin para matrim siya. Now, after natin dito, you have to place yung X natin as representation that they are of the same level. So I'm going to change my layer here right away with section and then I'm going to press L, enter and then lalagyan ko siya ng X, ma, X um, lines to represent that they are of the same level. The same thing with foundation plan. They are representing that they have the same level. Okay? So, with the use of your section line which is the thinnest line then definitely you can make already this one na very simple task. Napakadali lang siya ang gawin ng beam line because hindi masyadong maraming detail ang beam plan. Pero ang beam details ay medyo mas marami siyang kailangan gawin. Okay? So here, I'm going to continue. Click this one. Okay. So once natapos na natin siya, it's time for us, the same with foundation plan, it's time for us to indicate kung ano nga ba ang mga beams na to. So let's place text here. And then I'm going to type, um, if you want to place beam 1 or B1, okay, pwede din siya. So I'm going to, that's its point 20. And then right away, I'm going to check it or change the layer into text. Okay, so copy. Na lang sa bawat area. So here, this is beam 1. Here, this one. Dito, 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 and dito. After nito, I'm going to rotate the text on the opposite side and then copy the same thing on the specific area. So, beam here, beam, beam, beam. Now, if you want to make changes here for example this is 0.20 by 0.20 and then dito naman sa beam na to 
you'd like to increase the size, say for example, BIM2, kasi masyado mahaba ang span niya, you may also do the same. Okay, so for example, this is BIM2, the size of this one is 0.25 by 0.20, kasi masyadong malayo ang kanyang distance. Okay, so this is a 4 meters distance, so pwede rin naman siya. So this is how you are going to drop your BIM plan. So after dito, I'm going to change this name into beam plan and then center this one move this along the way dito sa center para sa kanyang representation then the only remaining here is to indicate dimension so I'm going to change my layer into dimension line and then press DLI para sa ating position ng mga dimensions so here 3 DCO dimension continue para mas madali ang pag-dimension. Then, DLI for the entire measurement dito. Then, proceeding with the opposite side sa, or is sa vertical distance naman, clicking here to here. Then, DCO papunta dito. Then, DLI on the bottom part. Okay. If hindi tumama, just move your dimensions through the center para maging 3 meters siya. Then DCO to continue your dimension. Then, DLI ulit to the last part dito. 1.5 Then DCO 1.5 2 Then 2 Okay, so Dito naman, ilalagay ko yung buong general dimensions niya as part of placing your total dimensions for your beam line. So, this is how simple the beam line when you're going to illustrate it. Okay? So, um, once you're done, you could just simply move your drawing here to the center. Okay? Move your drawing to the center of your work para may submit na sa inyong professor yung beam plan na kailangan ninyong submit. Okay? So, let's move this one. Okay? Then, after ito, once you're done with this one, so all you have to do is to plot your work. Always remember, ipacheck muna sa inyong instructor kung paano um, kung correct na ba ang inyong trabaho before you are going to submit that always check it before you're going to finalize your drawing and before submitting sa inyong professor okay so let's check this one windows dito then make sure naka set up tayo dito and then preview kung correct na ba okay so let's try to check if that's beam plan so beam 1 this is a simple beam Okay, this is a beam 2, which is mahaba pa with a size of 0.20 by 0.25 while beam 1 has my size ng 0.20 by 0.20. Okay, so if there are no more things you need to add, okay? Okay, by the way, we forgot, meron rin po pala ditong description. So see, before you're going to finalize this one, always remember, i-check nyo muna kung may kulang pa ba. So I'm going to copy this one, beam dito as your representation. Okay? So, let's go back again. Plot our work. So, preview. Then, once we're done, let's check our work. Okay? So, here. Okay, so, this is how you're going to drop your beam plan. Okay? In the most basic way. Now, um, sa susunod na tutorial naman natin, I'm going to teach you how to draft ang inyong beam details. Okay? So, if there are things that you would like to add here as mga experts natin dyan, we would like to share it with our students so that we could address the learning needs of every learners that we encounter. So, hanggang dito lang muna tayo ngayon and hoping for next time, um, mas may, 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 may lalagay natin ang details ng ating beam. Okay? 
So thank you once again. This is Coach Jane of Drafting Lifestyle and welcome to year 2024. Um, celebrating our one year anniversary for this channel. Hanggang sa susunod, God bless you and stay safe.